So are you thinking of starting a new side hustle such as Uber driving, Uber Eats, DoorDash or even Amazon Flex and you've been asked to create an AVN number and you don't know what it is? Well lucky for you this video is a step by step guide in which I will be showing you guys how to create your Australian business number or ABN in less than 5 minutes. So this way you're all set and ready to go for your next business venture and to start making that extra cash. So as you can see we are on my laptop now so the first thing which you need to do is go on to google either on your phone or your laptop and type in abn apply and click on the first link from abr website and over here now you just click on to this yellow button which says apply or reapply for an abn this is the exact portal on which we will be applying for your particular abn so make sure you read through all of this information make sure you provide all the correct information in this Form. Otherwise, there is a penalty of up to $12,600 if you provide false or misleading statement. Once you read through all of this, tick the box and then click on next. In most cases, you'll be applying for a sole trader for any of these side hustles. So you can select this option over here. Will your activities be carried in Australia? Yes. Yes, again here. And then over here, you can type in the form of a business. Click yes over here. Make sure you then click on next. Okay, perfect. So now that we're on the next page over here, you basically click on individual sole trader. Now you move on to the next question, which says, do you already have an existing ABN? Let's just say if you have an existing ABN where you're reapplying for it, you can just click on yes. But in most cases, when you're applying for a new ABN, you click on no. Then you leave this blank as it is. Click yes. Next one is around, does an application applicant have a TFN number? So let's just say if you already have a tax file number, you can click yes, which I think in most cases we already do. In cases where you don't have a TFN, you can then also go on to apply for a TFN number. So for now, let's just say if you already have a TFN, you can go ahead and click on yes. And you can click no over here. But let's just, if you don't have a TFN, then you can do it the other way around, which then over here will be a no. And then this will be a yes. Now clicking on to next. So the first question on the third page says whether, whether the applicant is an Australian resident for tax purposes. So if you're unsure where an Australian resident is, you can basically come onto ATO's website over here, which will basically tell you whether you qualify for a resident. So in a quick nutshell, if you are a student in Australia, if you are a citizen, or if you're basically studying and working in Australia, then you're considered to be an Australian resident. But I would highly recommend you to basically read through this page to conduct the residency test, which you can access from over here by clicking the question mark and then clicking this link over here. So then you go back and click on yes over here and you can leave this part blank as it is and click on next. And as you can see now over here, you type in your name. And if you have a tax file number, this is basically where you go ahead and populate that details and then click on next. You type in today's date, this will be auto populated. You leave this blank as it is. On this part over here, you explain the business activity which you'll be performing. So if you're doing Uber Eats, you can type in food delivery services. And as you can see over here, this will auto populate. And you can click the first option. And then you can go ahead and click on no for this particular question on agricultural property and then click on next. Now in this field over here, you basically provide an, an address. So this is the address where you have been staying. You type in your email address, more than one business location, you can type in yes. If not, then type in no, put through your mobile number, type in an email address which you have over here for your business. Once you have all of these details populated, click on next. So then you're basically brought to this next page where you provide your address again. Click on next. So when you're going to the next page over here, you basically double check all of your contact information such as your name, family name, your current position held. Make sure you have a mobile number over here and an email address for your business. And that's basically it. And then you, and then you go ahead and click on next over here. Once you have this, now we're almost at the end of this entire process. Over here, you basically need to provide a reason as to why you're applying for an ABN. So you can click on new business in Australia. If this is your first business, click yes. If not, then type in no and then click on next. Over here, you basically type in your full name, type in your position as sole trader, type in today's date and click on submit. And that's it. Well, I hope you guys found this video useful. 
If you didn't make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below if you have any questions or concerns, or if you are facing any particular problems or challenges, I will be replying to each and every single one of you. Make sure you watch this video to see on how much money you can make Uber driving here in Australia, and this one on how much money you can make doing Amazon Flex or Uber Eats here in Australia. Finally, subscribe for more such content on finance and personal development. Until then, take care and I'll see you in the next one.